All right, we are back here 643, which means it's time for weather on the threes. Uh, once again, we'll start off the presentation here with our threat tracker here. Uh, one of our graphics we use to kind of give you a heads up of any significant weather coming in the next three days. And you will notice we do have that elevated in the yellow for the possibility of showers and stronger storms, especially late this afternoon into early tonight. Right now, we're right on the fence with this. Uh, it's kind of Omaha south and east. Uh, could see the storms kind of develop right on top of us. That would give us the possibility for some hail and wind. Uh, better chances for isolated tornadoes probably south and east of us, but certainly something we'll watch. And again, uh, John, Jim, and Jen will all have a updated information this afternoon as that threat approaches that time frame, probably after about 4 o'clock. So we'll watch that. Uh, cooler with some lingering showers tomorrow. No real threat with that. And if we were going to see some wet snowflakes mix in, that would probably happen tomorrow night into very early Friday. And that's kind of iffy as well. All right, outside this morning, it is cloudy. It is mild. It is windy. 59 degrees with south winds 21 already gusting over 25 miles per hour. But the combo of clouds and wind really holding temperatures up here right now. It's still 58 in Lincoln. Even up in Wayne, we're in the 30s yesterday, 51 this morning, and then 55, the common number from Atlantic through Red Oak down toward Clorinda right now in southwestern Iowa. All right, this is our exclusive Weather Alert Viper HD satellite feature, and you can see what the clouds look like here. A lot of white and gray from 90th and Maple across 72nd and Dodge, and really the entire metro kind of socked in, and uh, for that Point. Most of the uh, eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, northwest Missouri also looking at a lot of clouds as we flip over to our radar feature. Not much rain yet. We had a couple of sprinkles developing over northeastern Nebraska. Those have diminished and most of the shower and thunderstorm action was up in northwestern Iowa, quickly moving into north central Iowa up toward the Twin Cities there. But look what's going on with the cold side of the system. Rain is transitioning to snow. Some of that's already entering western Nebraska, and we have winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings up through a good part of Wyoming. So uh, don't really think that's going to be our threat, but certainly showers and eventually some thunderstorms uh, certainly will be. All right, as we head through the morning, uh, a lot of the morning and even the day will be dry, believe it or not here. Uh, we could see a pop-up shower. You'll see evidence, a little green kind of pop-up from time to time. And then late this afternoon, We'll have to see where these storms take off. This model kind of has it east and southeast of us. I think, though, there is the opportunity some of that could go up right on top of us. Uh, again, it's a small window, say between about 4 and 7 o'clock, and then I think the threats push south and east. Uh, we will be left with showers overnight, so rain's still a good bet as temperatures cool off and winds flip around to the north. All right, here's the outline for severe weather. This is the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Once again, the uh, slight risk adjusted from, say, Sioux City back to Omaha this morning. So we're right on the edge, especially south and east, southeast Nebraska, southwest Iowa, northwestern Missouri. Probably a little bit better threat, especially through the early evening. And then the Arklatex region here, kind of in the enhanced threat where there'll be a higher risk for tornadoes. So for us, maybe some hailstones, maybe some damaging wind. It's iffy. Again, we're kind of right on the edge of that, but something we'll have to watch later on today. All right, until then, a spotty shower, a rumble of thunder possible, windy warm 75, south winds gusting to 30, winds turn around the north tonight, and after that storm threat early, we'll be left with some showers overnight down to 45, so a little bit cooler with north winds staying strong. Kind of a blustery day tomorrow, spotty showers 55, uh, maybe a rain or snow shower early Friday with the temperature there at 48. Look at the weekend though, nice recovery, back to 60 Saturday and in the mid 70s as we head towards Sunday. All right, just a reminder, we do have the possibility of storms later on today. Uh, maybe not a bad idea to download Storm Shield to your smartphone. Great weather app to have if we do get under those spring like threats. And again, you can have up to five locations with that. If we do have a watch go out, that'll come through this app. You'll get notified there. And of course, warnings will give you specific information whether or not you're under that threat. You can also track all the action there with the radar feature on that particular app. All right, time now 647. We're quiet so far, very windy, very mild this morning.